Are you attracted to a Pisces man? If so, this is a video for you. I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to attract the elusive and secretive Pisces man. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mina, your favorite Pisces astrologer. And I'm back with a fan requested video. I listen, I promise, about how to attract a Pisces man. I'm going to give you 10 tips because it seems to be like a lot of people don't know how to attract a Pisces man, but I know this very well. I'm a Pisces woman and I understand to a T how to attract a Pisces man and I want to share my knowledge with you because of that. And if your Pisces man has a Pisces rising, a Pisces sun, moon, or Venus, you might want to check this video out and make sure you stay to the very end because the last tip is probably the most important to listen to. And of course, this video is all inclusive. If you are a human being who likes a Pisces man, this is the place to be. It is really important to understand that a Pisces man above all else wants to be seduced. He does not want boring and mundane things. He wants a little taste of fantasy. And because they have such a strong drive, a lust to being seduced, they can end up in some bad situations because these situations are fun. They're magical, but they're not always real and sincere. But nonetheless, we have to keep this in mind when we're dealing with Pisces men. And of course, they will seduce you back eventually. But they love being seduced more, I promise you. So let's go with the first tip. Make sure your Pisces man isn't taken. I'm not even going to elaborate. <laughs> Number two, this is a very, if not the most important step. Analyze your Pisces man's social media presence. Because Pisces men are not much different than Libra men. They are visual and superficial they fall in love with their eyes. I think that Pisces men have a harder time admitting this because they're water sign. And I think that water creates a pressure to be above such things. But Pisces men are visual. Don't let them fool you. They need to fall in love with their eyes first. Yet they're more complicated than a Libra man, which is why you need to look at the social media because you need to see the visual creative patterns that are popping up with all the pictures, check the Spotify playlist for the songs. What is a theme that pops up? What are some visual patterns that pop up? You need to know this because these are the things that your Pisces man finds alluring and most importantly, dreamy. And you need to take note of these things. If you're in a situation where your Pisces man doesn't have a big social media presence, this is going to be harder. However, there's still some hope, and I'll tell you that in the next tip. So tip number three, with this information, you've looked through all the songs with your Pisces man. You've looked through all the pictures. You've seen the actresses and actors that he likes. You're forming these visual ideas of what he thinks is magical. Now you're going to become a small piece of that art. You're going to integrate at least one thing visually into your physical person that right when that Pisces man sees you, he's going to tie you together with the things he finds magical. And that's what you want. You want him to form an association between his art and you. So, for example, if your Pisces man likes actors or actresses with red hair, you might want to change your hair color. <laughs> I mean, if it's going to look good with your skin tone and stuff and your eyes. Or if your Pisces man, you see that they like people with wavy hair, you could wave your hair. Or if you see that your Pisces man likes ballerinas, you could wear a ballet flat. If you see that your Pisces man likes people with six packs, start hitting the gym. If you see that your Pisces man don't ignore colors, loves the color blue, like it's in a repeated theme in his pictures, wear blue when you first meet him. 
You need to become one small piece of that art. And for those of you, like I mentioned, who their Pisces man doesn't have a strong social media presence, you need to just elevate yourself in general from a human being to a character, to a character in a story, to a actor or actress in a movie. You need to do something that makes you a little extraordinary visually. So this could mean putting on like a shimmery body butter. So when the sun hits your skin, your Pisces man sees you glowing. Or this can mean Googling top five most popular actors 2024 and you get that exact haircut if you're if you're a man watching this. You could change your perfume or cologne to something a little bit extraordinary that's strong and noticeable. You could get you a gorgeous set of fake otherworldly lashes. You could put together an amazing outfit. I know this sounds like basic, but hey, Pisces men are visual and they want to be seduced. They want to go out and fall in love with something that reminds them of their favorite art. They want to fall in love with a piece of art, basically, but one that they find most magical. Now that you did your research, you know what your Pisces man fantasizes about. You have some type of idea before you've even had a deep conversation with him because you looked at the social media, you looked at the Spotify list, or hey, maybe you have the benefit of seeing him in person every day or you talk to someone that is already friends with him. However you get the data, you got it and now you're here. So now you need to get more creative and artistic with your social media presence. And if you don't have a social media, get one. And be very creative. Even if you have to Google 2024 most beautiful models and copy their stances, yet with the backdrop of a really beautiful painting, something creative, do that to become a character for your Pisces man. I know this stuff sounds crazy, but Pisces men are kind of special. They this is what they like, okay? In other words, just be very intentional and a little bit more creative, a little bit more artsy with your social media because your Pisces fan is definitely going to have eyeballs on that. And this is what's going to create a deep longing for you. Number five, when the time comes and you get your first in-person date, or maybe it's your first FaceTime with your Pisces man, you have to make this moment count because you're going to give him a show-stopping first impression visually. So you've done all your research, you know what your Pisces man fantasizes about, and you've embodied a small piece of that art on yourself, however you chose to do it. So I want you to watch this movie, Memoirs of a Geisha, for some visual inspiration. The main actress has a scene where she has a homework to make a man fall off of his bike or something just by simply smiling at him. Never underestimate the power of a smile when it comes to seducing your Pisces. So you can walk in all serious, but right before you sit down to the table to have a date with your Pisces, like out of nowhere, give him like a big bright smile. Light up like a light bulb when you sit down with him. This will create a almost like a piece of art in his mind for him to fantasize and remember about you. This matters a lot. Six, so when you're talking to your Pisces man, you've already become the art. You made a great first impression, a show-stopping moment. Now you want to add kindness to the mix. I know this sounds so simple, but imagine like you're like an ethereal being at this point to your Pisces man. Imagine like, our first impressions of models, actors, and actresses, we think subconsciously that they're mean because they hold so much pretty privilege. So if you pair kindness with a beautiful visual, this is going to make a strong impression on your Pisces because Pisces men, at least at first, they really like kind people. So make sure you're being kind to the waiter or waitress. Make sure kindness is something he's going to associate with you. This is basically going to make you dreamy. Remember, he does not want ordinary at all. And if you're kind of mean naturally, make sure that you're mean to everyone else but him. 
if that's the best you can do. Number seven is super important. So tip seven is to get busy for real. So even if you don't have hobbies or interests, now's the time to create one. And make sure it's a creative one or even a charitable one because Pisces people, again, really value a kind person. So your hobbies need to display that you're creative, you're passionate, and you're also kind. So this has to be real and legit because even though Pisces men kind of have a reputation for being shady, they are ruled by Jupiter. They want honest people. But isn't it interesting they want honesty yet want someone to embody a character? That's another video. So yeah, this busyness that you will create creates longing and they will be looking at your social media reminiscing, fantasizing, and missing you and building a very strong um, longing in their imaginations for you. If you start up their imagination, you're in a good spot. Number eight is very important. Send signals, not paragraphs. So this is very important for my chatty Cathy's, my machine gun texters. You don't want to do this, especially at first with your Pisces man. Again, Pisces men are very repelled by neediness. It stresses them out. They will run. They're runners. Don't forget that. They're very flighty with romance and relationships. So you don't want to freak them out too soon by being too needy communication-wise. Instead, talk to them through art. Send them a song and make sure that song conveys your feelings of attraction for them in that song. They will pick up on that and they will really fall in love. So talk through the art and tie it to them. And of course, the more you do this, the more you'll actually be able to talk a little bit more because you're going to make your Pisces man very comfortable doing this. Tip number nine, compliment him with the intention of making him feel like a hero. So... This is really important because Pisces men get really turned on if someone just overtly views them as something elevated, as something otherworldly. And complimenting him in such a manner is the perfect way to send a very strong positive signal to him. And this helps him build up the character in his head that he wants to be for you. And this will help him understand how to seduce you in return he wants to know like what you like about him so through your compliments paint a picture of what you appreciate in his character again this goes a long way and number 10 okay this is going to be the most controversial and the most hard but I'm just going to say it because I think this is what confuses people the most about Pisces men and maybe Pisces in general, when it comes to romance, push. You are going to have to push. Pisces men in general are not hunters. They love pretty shiny things. They love fantasies, but they are not going to tackle you like an Aries. They are not going to do that. You will have to be the aggressor here. And I think that once you've built a very strong image in their mind of who you are or who you're trying to be in terms of building yourself up like a fantasy, that's when you push and you say, I like you. <laughs> Something just very obvious, like tell your Pisces man how much you want him. This is the one time that you don't want to be a mystery. Yet, you don't want to do this right away. You want to build that image up strong. You want to give him that otherworldly view of you. You want to build that romance, that image that gives him a break from real boring life. Then you push like a tiger, like a tigress. This is when you'll get your Pisces. Because if you don't push, my people, you could stay in an eternal situationship an eternal online relationship, an eternal undefined relationship. And if your Pisces man doesn't respond to you pushing, back completely off. Leave a good impression. Again, don't be cruel, but 
put a pause on the situation because if he's not responding to that, he's not in a place where he wants a relationship. And you have to ask yourself, is that okay? Can you stay in this dreamy situationship or do you want something more? You're going to have to answer that and I know that's hard. But anyway, I hope this helps you attract your Pisces man. Let me know what you think in the comments about this video. Let me know if you like videos like this. I love reading the comments. I care what you think. And of course, if you love content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you for making my dream come true. Bye.